today we move to Maksimovichi. It is a small village, 40 kilometers to Belarus border from Ukraine. It is a small Ukrainian village uh, which belongs to Kiev Oblast district. Our way to Maksimovichi is uh, going through Borodyanka city. We are entering Borodyanka. Civil building on the left. On the left we have a retail trade building. On the right we have a service trade completely destroyed building. We are near to the center of the city, Borodyanka. Nine floor civil building right in front of us, or just what it is left after it. Retail trade on the left. Civil buildings on the left. Five floor civil buildings on the right. People were living there. Civil buildings on the left. Bus stop on the right. Civil building on the left, private house on the right, civil buildings on the right. Five floor civil building on the left, retail trade, brick building on the left, and uh, what is left after that? Drug store, and what is left after it? Nine floor civil buildings on the right. No comments. Ambulance car on the right. Civil buildings on the right. There were people living there before that came here. Several buildings made of brick were on the left. An administrative building on the right. That was a post office on the left, and now we see what is left. Drug store on the left. ATB retail store on the left. Administrative building on the right. <sighs> Retail trade on the left, made of brick buildings. Wire lines are being repaired. Now there is no electricity in Borodyanka city. Municipal services are repairing that. There were brick houses on the left, piles of broken brick. That was a wood processing plant on the left. Armed forces, machines on the right, or what is left after that.
This forest is near to Fanevichi village. Hop! Wow! Big hole. Happily we omitted that. Well. Fanevichi. Trade building. It was a restaurant and a hotel on the left. It was a civil crane on the left. On the right it is a bridge. And now it is what is left from the bridge on the right. The civils are walking. Pentone Bridge, the first time in my life we cross the river by Pentone Bridge. It is a 100% military device. It's written on the board Chernobyl Tour. This area is 30 kilometers from Chernobyl. On the left, okay, we are on the, on, on the place. Civils are coming. We have uh, two machines of military escort to get to the point. The village was uh, more than one month and a half being conquered by Russian military troops. Hello, nice to see you. Okay, now the humanitarian aid. is taken to the house well heavy boxes with uh, vegetable oil some flower oil yes It takes time to unload the car, yes. Big potato and heavy potato sacks, yes. These are from Brovary District volunteers. Well, homemade foods. People not to die from starvation. And uh, this is the most important. Bacon, bacon, yes. Home bread bacon. No words needed. Dear friends, thank you so much that you came to us. Uh, our village is not so big. We are near Belarus border. Uh, we are 40 kilometers to Chernobyl. And uh, the village was uh, under Russian military troops for more than one month and a half. So we were in need and we needed foods and me medicines so thank you for coming to us, for bringing what we needed. 
because uh, we are not a very rich village and uh, we are very grateful for your support we would appreciate your support thank you so much thank you so much friends this is our back way well again pontoon bridge military pontoon bridge the second time in my life i crossed the river via such kind of communications road communications well whew. on the ground well these were armed forces a tank a completely fired tank <laughs> 